What's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up JavaFX and JDK in IntelliJ. If you are creating a non-modular project in IntelliJ, well, this tutorial is for you because we are going to set up the JavaFX SDK and JDK at the global libraries for convenience if you are creating a new project in IntelliJ. And let's get started. Let's download the JDK at azul.com. Click this download button right here and select the free version. And select the Java version to 19. Operating system will be Windows and Architecture 64 and select the JDK. So select the zip file to download the zip file. And once you have th done that, you can download the uh, JavaFX SDK. Click the JavaFX version to 19 Windows 64 SDK. Alright, and I'm not gonna download this because I already have one. So once you have downloaded the files, you can go to IntelliJ and create a new project. Uh, it doesn't matter, I think it doesn't matter if you are using the Community Edition or the Ultimate version. So let's proceed, let's create a new project and if you are creating a project with uh, uh, that is modular you can select the JavaFX here below and if you are creating a non-modular project you can maybe I think you can select this one and I'm gonna name my project to test and select the language to Java build system will be uh, IntelliJ Maven or Gradle so I think I'm gonna use the IntelliJ and my JDK version is 18 and if you don't want have here you can download the JDK here so I'm gonna use the 18 and create new one so if you are uh, if I'm done creating the project I can change the version later and create the project now we're going to set up the uh, global libraries go to file menu and select the project structure and go to global libraries this is the JavaFX SDK click this plus button here and select Java and locate your JavaFX SDK and mine is the JavaFX SDK 19 select the lib folder library folder and click on OK all right now the f next step is to set up the jdk go at the go here at the jdk uh, sdks sdks and add new one and since in this case i downloaded the file i can select the add jdk and locate the file this one is my jdk and select this folder click on OK now I have the JDK and click on apply and OK now the next step is to set up the uh, variable path go to file menu select settings and select this path variables now I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to name this to uh, JavaFX19. This is useful when setting up the VM options. And I'm going to select value to find the file. So this is the JavaFX SDK and select the lib folder. Click on OK. And we're done. Now let's create the project. This one is the Java and let's try to run our application. It says hello world. All right, let's create the Java effects. Now I'm gonna select the project structure and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna select the I'm going to choose the SDK to 19 and modules libraries 
as you can see that we don't have the library here because it's already here the dependencies and if you are creating a new project you don't need to go here at the libraries because you can go to modules select the dependencies and click this one and select the library and it will give you the global libraries add this folder the library folder and select all right and I think that's it and let's click on OK and let's create the Java the Java FX I'm gonna extend applications application and implements the methods I'm gonna remove this launch and I'm gonna create a new layout I'm gonna use the uh, stack pane layout calls new stack pane and I'm gonna create the scene and assign the layout object here and let's declare the scene size to 300 by 300 and call the stage to assign the scene and call the scene object here stage that set title title this will be Java FX 19 stage that show let's create a button for another node inside the stack pane stack pane button button scene and hello hello world let's add the button to our layout it's called the layout that get children that add node and pass in the button object now let's create a set on action event. I'm gonna use the lambda expression and I'm gonna print out the Java version. I'm gonna call this system dot get property and Java version. All right and let's try to run our application to see what that looks like okay it says Java FX runtime components are missing and are required to run this application to fix this issue you can go we can go here we can go this one edit configurations and let, let's add the VM, VM options let's go here add VM options and I'm gonna add module path do you remember the path variable I'm gonna we can also click this insert macros and Java FX 19 like that and add another one add modules let's say Java FX controls. You can also add the Java FX FXML if you are creating the FXML file using the scene builder or code it manually. And apply, click on OK. And let's run the program again. There you go. Here's our application, Java FX application. We can click this button right here to see if we are working on Java FX 19 so to make this one a jar file we can create an artifact go to file file menu project structure and select artifacts we can add a new one select jar from modules with dependencies uh, select the main class 
and there's nothing to change here and let's click on OK and apply OK alright let's build the file the project and go here build artifacts and build All right, build completed successfully. Let's go here. This is the artifact and this is the jar. We can open in Explorer. And to run this, you can easily double click this jar file. But in my case, I'm going to uh, use the command line. Java jar test.jar. let's see what's the output all right I am getting this error because I compiled the jar to the latest version of Java which is the Java 19 and my current version of Java is this one I am using the Java 17 the long term the long, long term support and this is why I get this error because the main class has been compiled by a more recent version of the java runtime file version 63 and this version of java runtime only recognizes class, fi class file versions up to 61 and that's it that's how you create a modular java project in IntelliJ and set up the global libraries I hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i will see you in the next video